Hi there, Pisces. It's Abby. You are up for your money in finance reading. Guys, last but certainly not least, you are on Rogue Goddess Tarot. Uh, this is my channel where I read for all the signs. If you followed me here from Rogue Pisces Tarot, my Pisces only channel. Hi, hey, how, how are ya? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and supporting this channel as well. If you're new here, uh, my name is Abby. I'm an interrogative, um, in intuitive tarot reader. Um, so thanks for stopping by. This is going to be about money and finances, what might be going on in the Pisces Collective uh, in that area of life, okay? This is an oracle deck that I got off of Etsy. If you just look up money or finance oracle on Etsy, you'll find it. This creator has a few different versions of it. They've updated. They have version one, version two, all that kind of stuff. Really cool. I'm going to use tarot as well so that I can pull hopefully as many details as I can for you guys. Um, but with all of that said, remember that not every reading is for everybody. Okay, so I'll deliver what the cards tell me and what I get through my intuition. And then as the watcher, okay, knowing that it's a general reading, just take the stuff that's for you and leave the rest behind. Okay, if there's anything challenging that shows up, I'll take a look into it and see if there's any advice, if there's a way to avoid it, if there, you know, whatever. Um, but we'll take a look here. We have new money. I feel like I haven't seen this card before. <laughs> There's a couple in here I feel like I haven't seen before. Interestingly enough, this has like a hundred cards in it. And it feels like sometimes the collectives are just getting like the same eight or nine cards for the most part. Um, but I haven't seen this. It says something new you've been working on will be very profitable. You should consider creating a new source of income. And if you have a money making idea, do it. Ooh, Pisces, very nice. So it feels like there might very well be a uh, something that is on the horizon here, something that you are thinking about putting together. You may have been kind of, you know, putting your ducks in a row, trying to figure something out here. Um, and it feels like this is bringing some new income in, whether that's you in a new career or you creating maybe another stream of income for yourself so that you're not just relying on if you have um, jobs or something like that. Like I'm a recovering workaholic. I used to have like easily three jobs at a time plus freelance stuff. So I know very much what it's like to have more than one job. Um, so it could be even that if you have one thing, you might be looking for evening work, weekend work, or even just something that you can do in your spare time interesting in the central energy here we have change okay which i really like it says uh change there's change for the better coming your way embrace it just because you don't see any movement doesn't mean nothing is happening and something sometimes to see the change you have to be the change um so this feels like you're getting out of an energy of perhaps waiting to see things happen Maybe uh, the Pisces that this is for have been in a place of, it feels like, you know, maybe you're putting in your work or you're putting in time and effort or you're even journaling your manifestations, you're trying to visualize a lot, you're doing whatever, but you don't see anything kind of happening out in front of your eyes yet, you know? Um, and I feel like for a lot of people, um, the time that I'm posting this is in the end of May. We have a lot of stuff going on in Aries right now. You might be feeling like a sudden <laughs> like burst of energy where you're just more into doing stuff, into being like, look, I can think about this all I want, but nothing's going to get moving if I don't just like get up and go, right? <laughs> Very Aries-like energy. Yeah, the lovers. I like this. Okay, so this could be that there might be a change to your romantic situation. You could enter into some kind of partnership or you could be finding yourself with some kind of um, choice. The lover's card is a card of choice, of decisions, of trying to make the best, most honest, ethical, healthy choice for ourselves. Um, and this is like, that's very sweet. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, two of cups. Interesting. So for some of you, it feels like you could be entering into some kind of partnership or into a time of your life where you're open in business and even in your money life, um, like you could meet someone at work. This is a side message. I'm not gonna keep it on love forever and I'll interpret it more just business, straight up business in a moment. You could meet someone at work um, who has some ideas. This could either be a very good friend, sometimes a love interest, sure, for some. It could be that you meet someone who has like uh, a lot of inspiration and I'm feeling like this sense of them having a lot of 
direction and excitement. Um, maybe they have a fire or an air element to them where it's kind of like they just want to move on things. Um, really kind of interesting energy. For others, it feels like really kind of making good choices, um, finding good complementary energies. Um, you might just be going forward and finding partnerships, linking up with friends, networking, um, all of those kinds of things, really, because this whole sense of, you know, to see the change, you have to be the change. Um, it's taking a lot of prevalence right now. Uh, in the crossing energy, we have real estate, which says um, to build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Consider a career in real estate, interior design, architecture, or any home business, and it's time to go back to basics to strengthen your finances. So if I pause every now and again, just FYI, guys, um, I just changed my, my teeth aligners, my Invisaligns, <laughs> so they're a little funny. That's all that's going on. So if anyone's like, you sound off or not like yourself or you're talking funny, that's all that it is, okay? Um, okay, so... There may be, for some of you, you could have tried real estate or thought about getting into one of those things, but it feels like it's an, it's an energy that can't quite express itself. You may have been finding it sort of difficult to build a foundation for some reason and feeling like there's something there, maybe even about buying a house or um, investing in real estate. Something about that may have been possibly a dream of yours. And now it feels like you might be changing, changing tracks or changing the way that you're going about it, not necessarily saying that you can't have that or that you won't, but it's like the way that you approach it might be different. Mm, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Um, so there's this is a card of major financial um, wellness <laughs> and it's a really abundant energy. Um, this can be like financial freedom also. So this feels like for some of you, you may have had to adapt to some changes or make some changes because it feels like there might be a recognition that you might not have the financial, um, whether it's knowledge or actual funds or resources, whether that's like people and connections and networks, you might feel like I don't have that really kind of set up yet. And I don't really, I want to change everything but I might not have the right kind of foundation that I need. So I think possibly looking into creating something new and, and getting that started. What you're being told to focus on, we have unrealistic. So this says your expectations in the future are unrealistic and may need revision. Perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought. You could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals. Okay. Interesting. So this does not say, <laughs> I don't feel like it's necessarily that what you're dreaming about can't happen, Pisces. I'm not getting that. It's more like maybe the timelines that you're setting for yourself or the pressure that you're putting on yourself might not be realistic. And so that might set you up for some disappointment. So say if you have, oh, I don't know, maybe you have some student debt or something like that. Um, and you need to pay your student debt. Plus you want to like, you know, save up a down payment for a house. And you told yourself, well, I want to buy a house by the, the end of this year, but you haven't sat down and actually made a budget and figured out like, okay, what can I put away? Maybe getting a job on the side and I can like invest that money into that account and get that going. Um, but it, but keep telling yourself, I'm going to do it by the end of this year. Um, but maybe you just haven't looked at stuff yet, you know? <laughs> it feels like just kind of get a little practical there. Yeah, seven of wands. In the moon yeah so this seems like there might be some things that you may not have wanted to look at yet or you may have felt a little resistant to um while your intuition and your emotions might be very involved in things uh there could very well be that like as you're kind of standing out above everybody else and you're setting yourself apart from others um there's maybe just like a little bit of defensiveness towards practicality for some reason i don't know why i'm getting that that's interesting. But again, I'm going to restate. It doesn't mean don't dream big. I think it's really important to dream big, actually. Um, but to start to set yourself realistic goals that you can achieve in a realistic timeline so that as you point them off, like check them off, 
we're not getting discouraged, right? By going like, oh, I thought I was going to be a millionaire by 30. And I, I set that goal when I was 29 and a half, you know, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, sometimes these things can take, they can take time. They can take time. Okay. Um, in your strength, we have setbacks. Now, how could setbacks ever be a strength? This says <laughs> your attempts to increase your income may have been largely unsuccessful. A financial setback might be forcing you to get more organized. Okay, so he was talking about that. It also says don't lose hope. Use this time to learn from your mistakes. I quite honestly feel that um, people who take the leap and start to figure things out and start to have, because it's all a trial and error. Like every business person who's gone into business, like they had one business for a while that did this thing and it was cool until it didn't work anymore or they exhausted the market, you know, and then they couldn't expand. And then they moved on to something else and they sold a different thing or then they went into providing services and it was in a different way. And in all of those things, there's different trial and error. And though we may see as because the way that we think about goals and business and life is so flawed, right? Each of those things, even though they might look like a failed business because they didn't last forever, like I don't know, DuPont or something, um, we'll see them as failed, but really each one of those things taught that person a lot about what running that sort of business was like, um, maybe about payroll if you have employees, maybe about product. Um, if you're doing that, maybe about inventory, if you're doing that. And so I feel like the people who take the leap and are willing to make the mistakes end up at an advantage over people who are too scared to ever start, you know? Um, so if you have something in your, in your, your back pocket or in your, in your, um, in your past, that's about some sort of business mistake or money mistake, you could even make a YouTube channel that's about here's all the mistakes I made with my finances. Come on me on my journey to financial wellness, <laughs> you know, and document yourself um, get, making a budget, getting a side gig, paying down things, putting together money for a down payment for a house. There's lots of channels like that out there, guys. I, I watch them all the time. So it could be that there's other people who um, there's something about something that you see as a setback that actually can turn into an advantage for some of you. In the past position and what you're leaving behind, we have Peacemaker. So Piscean, oh my goodness. It says you're being called on to apply diplomacy and tact in difficult situations. You could consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any peacekeeping or peacemaking careers. And it says approach situations with a win-win attitude when making business deals. I feel like there are some of you here who you've just tried really hard to have like a kind approach and a balanced approach and you've treated other people the way that you have wanted to be treated and it could very well be that things with negotiations wanting things to be fair thinking like everybody can win here we don't need it to be so cutthroat you know um and so some of you may have learned a lot and you're keeping that with you, I think, to the most part. And I, I feel like you might be also branching out and maybe getting a little tougher with things. Tough doesn't mean that you are um, shady or doing anything that's not honest. I don't feel like that at all. It's it's more like perhaps you're not the, the, <laughs> the priority isn't keeping the peace anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah. Page of Swords, you've learned a lot. Yeah, from some disappointments from people, especially um, stuff from your past here. You might have sort of like a role even within your family um, or in, within your past and other jobs and organizations, things you've done of being like the peacekeeper, even when it kind of worked to your detriment. Maybe it ended up disappointing you. Uh, maybe you kept your tongue like sort of tied at times because you were like, all right, I'm just going to be as diplomatic as I can. Um you could have also, some of you, I'm getting that you may have worked for some dishonest people or, or in businesses where you saw them kind of do things in either like really inefficient or unhumanitarian kind of ways. And you knew that you, because of the position that you were in at the time, you couldn't always speak up about it because it was not necessarily a nice work environment. And you may still carry some frustration or some disappointment in yourself because of that. Um, and I'm just wanting to tell you that like, hey, um, 
sometimes you have to do what you have to do to get by, okay? Um, cause for some reason, I just got this pang of like, oh, I never spoke up. And it's like, you know for the future, okay? You can try when you can. Um, but sometimes when you got to pay the bills, it's tough to like challenge things, right? Um, so just a little acknowledgement for someone out there who might be struggling with that. I don't know who needs that, but just felt like saying it. What's coming towards you in the future, we have goals, which is really nice. It says, don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. This would be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations and focus on creating and managing a budget. I feel like that's kind of what it is here. Um, I feel like a lot of you, the Pisces that this is for are like master manifestors. I feel like you almost have like new money and magic at your fingertips in this weird way. Um, and that you're very, very good at creating things and innovating and having great ideas. But it might be the stuff that is like putting it down on paper, making a business plan, you know, approaching someone and asking them to mentor you in your small business, doing those kinds of things that you might be like, well, why? I don't know. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff, you know? And so this feels like maybe bringing some of those things down to earth and making them more practical. So things like budgets, uh, a business plan, even if you just look up in YouTube, how to create a business plan, what should a business plan look like? Um, you know, if you have a dream of doing something, opening a shelter, um, uh, a rescue, a, a, a clothing store, right? Whatever it is to look into like, what would that look like? What would the rent be like? How would I have to get land? What would the permits be like? Cause then it's like, you're showing the universe you mean business, right? Cause you're actually doing it. You're not just dreaming anymore. Um, you're actually trying to make it. Yes. See, look at you. Mm-hmm. You're, yeah, very good at this. Very good at this. Okay, so this sort of intuitive sort of sense of yourself here, Pisces, um, you have an incredible amount of perseverance, and that will probably help you to take some direction during a time when others may be feeling a lot of lack. All right? Um, your confidence grows a lot more in the future when there's this like what is it it's like if not having enough information makes you feel like insecure about the choices that you're making then go find the information is what i'm wanting to tell you go find it and then you're going to be able to apply it to whatever you need and then you're going to be able to line all of these things up and and sort of like put all your ducks in a row and make things happen i like this okay so your suggested sort of outlook or approach, we have stability, saying that your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous, take control of your finances to create stability in your life, and it's an excellent time to take action on any money-related ventures. So you keep getting these things about change, <laughs> about change, but setting realistic goals, right? creating and managing a budget, write down your goals and aspirations, take control, that kind of stuff. This feels like that's kind of what's in the air for you right now, okay? Um, so it's like taking action on things, taking control of things. This is like the perfect time to do it. The perfect time to do it. Yeah, two pentacles, because you're going to have to rebalance anyway. Queen of cups, that's just you. And coming into alignment. Uh, having a lot of compassion and understanding with yourself because a lot of this also has to do with stability. When we're talking about money and stability, I think people underestimate how emotional money is. It's incredibly emotional, right? Because um, money, it feels like it grants us access to something. If we don't have it, it we're denied access to something. It's, it's a huge kind of thing in society, right? And so I feel like having, as you're rebalancing your resources, you're gonna have to kind of take a look here and find, make the best choices for yourself but also feel through it with your feelings, right? Um, this feels like making those choices may, may be something that's been hard for you in the past, but this is it's something that you've realized brings you a lot of harmony as you apply it to taking this kind of action. What might be hidden from you or what the universe knows that you might not is caution. Okay, let's look at this. This says, use caution when making financial decisions, careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs, and more going out than coming in. Okay. 
Okay. So I would say that you may not quite see yet how there could be some of you that might need to receive the message of it's not all or nothing. You don't necessarily need to invest your entire life savings into, you know, Dogecoin <laughs> or crypto or one stock or bet it all on red to have like the prosperity you want. If you spend a lot of money on things like scratch tickets or lottery tickets, not saying don't do it anymore, but maybe like make yourself a budget. Be like, I'm still going to do it. Can't can't win if you don't play. But maybe instead of buying a few at a time, I'm going to limit myself to like one every like one a payday or one a month or, you know, or maybe only when it gets over a certain amount. Who knows? Something like that. Yeah. So there's a lot of wishes and dreams attached to this. Interesting. Um, some, yeah, <laughs> we have the star and we have strength. So it's like a lot of hopes and dreams and courage that's sort of there for you to access. Uh, the universe knows that you have everything that you need to get what you want and that you, you know, have the ability to have a real show of strength in this. And there's a transformational aspect to it as well. Um, you may have to there might be someone out there who just needs to hear that like your dreams are available to you. You're going to have to like the strength card can also be a card of having to sort of control our animal instincts, right? So if you have a spending problem or if you find yourself gambling or doing things with your money that aren't good or emotionally spending, right? That retail therapy, Lord knows during the pandemic, I had boxes on boxes showing up sometimes just out of sheer boredom, right? Um, it, like it could be just a time to exercise more caution, right? Snap back into this kind of stuff to make things happen. We have the artist, which I feel like you get every time. Maybe you don't get it every time, but I feel like you do, Pisces. Um, this says, focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. The artist can be a photographer, painter, film, graphic artist, or web designer. And says, if you can't make a living with your art full-time, start part-time, just get started. Yes no matter what, just start. I don't know, like, I think I've said it on a couple of previous readings before, but I used to be uh, an actor um, locally here. I used to go to theater school, and I cannot tell you how many times professors told us this exact thing. Like, it doesn't matter how you start or what you start in, what that show is, what that venture is, whether you're doing improv, whether you're doing a play, whether you're doing you know, you're you're playing the fiddle on a corner of the street. <laughs> do something. Just do it. Just start. And by starting, you'll be able to get things kind of rolling. Um, really, really nice. Also, it says f focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. Hmm. I feel like there's this, like, desire um, for a life of ease and beauty. Ease and beauty. Like, not sweat and grind and labor but ease and beauty. Hmm. Interesting. Nine of Wands again. Eight of Swords. Nine of Cups. Interesting. So it's like there's almost like this mental battle, it feels like, between a heart's wishes to come true and like a kind of defensiveness against things. Some of you may feel, you may have a part of yourself that longs to do art, um, longs to do something artistic, but you may resist it out of some sort of pre-held belief that it's not practical or you can't make money on it. I mean, I've, where I live in Canada, I've seen lots of stories of people who during the pandemic say, uh, learned how to do traditional Métis or, uh, you know, seed bead work, like make jewelry out of like those teeny tiny little beads. And they made Instagram accounts and they started selling out like for ton, like making more money to the point where people had to quit their jobs because they were like, I can't keep up with crafting. Like I'm making more money than I did at my job. And it's something I really like to do. And like, it just happened. But who would have thought you could make that much money making beaded earrings? You know what I mean? Um, I know I bought, I have a pair of be beaded earrings that I bought recently that I, I paid a lot of money for because I was like, they're gorgeous. Um, so there's just stuff about like art or the artistic things you might be doing that you might have a bit of a, still have some fears attached to. Because even though it's like a wish 
for you artistic folks out there, it, it feels like the resistance comes from more so outside of you than others. Uh, more outside of you and other people than from yourself. Sorry. <laughs> and okay, so I'm going to dig into this card a little bit because it intrigues me. We have, in what you may encounter along the way, we have loss. Okay. So let's not freak out. It says, expect some financial turmoil. A job loss could make it difficult to keep control of your money. And says you will have to work really hard to make ends meet. So. I want to understand this loss card more, please. So for some of you, I feel like this is fear. Twos on twos on twos and knight of wands. Okay. So it feels like there might be something here that causes you to have to rebalance your resources. This could be something that happens um, possibly on sort of the world stage. There's a bit of an indecision on which way to go, but then it's it's like you get fired up and decide to go for it. Yeah, Queen of Swords, it's like the fire comes in and you're like, okay, got to get up and go and do this thing. And then Queen of Swords comes in with the logic and communicates extremely well. Also really good negotiator. Um, so that's a little bit of history there. But let's see. Can you tell me how Pisces can best deal with this if they do encounter some kind of financial loss. Ah, okay. So you're going to have to um, look at any ways that you feel like you're limited. If you kind of freeze up um, and just go like, that's it, it's all, it's all crazy, like this is nuts. Um, that's not going to aid you. You may feel very uh, tempted to do that, but feel like you just start imposing more and more restrictions on yourself. I'm getting almost like that fight, flight, or free sense. Now, remember, this is a general reading, and it's definitely not set in stone. stone. Tarot and cards and all this stuff, at the very best, are kind of loose guidance on the things that all of us might encounter in life. It's followed then, this Eight of Swords, by the Nine of Cups and the Sun. So this is sort of like, once those restrictions are taken off of oneself and you're kind of let yourself throw yourself into your real wishes emotions and dreams there's a lot of happiness for you an intense amount of happiness for you so uh, whatever this you know turmoil is um it could be something that affects you personally it could be even something in your community that you see happening um, that makes you very worried and might light light uh like a fire under you to be a little more prepared okay Let's see what else. Yeah, it's a disappointment of some kind. But then Queen of Pentacles. It's so interesting. I keep getting this thing about whoever this reading is for, that there are some of you who it's almost like you build your prosperity off of your past losses. I'm not so sure if this... Is this... No, Seven of Cups, yeah, sure, confusion, but then like gaining a lot of insight with the Hermit. There's something here that is sort of like something that's a disappointment actually sets you up for being very, very financially well off. Very interesting. It's like you, you learn to leverage whatever you went through, maybe to teach other people, maybe to show other people, maybe you blog about it, maybe you have, a, like I said earlier, a YouTube channel about it, something like that. Um, it could even be like, say there's something that happens and you decide like, I'm going to, like what I was talking about with here's a channel that's all about like how I'm, you know, setting my finances right. Something like that. But it ends up with Queen of Pentacles in the sun. That's bonkers. You guys are going to have to tell me what that is. <laughs> if it applies to you, it might only be for one person out there. Who knows? But Okay. I'm going to pull, this is going to ask for your prosperity message, and then I'm going to pull timing cards. So for the Pisces that are watching, I would like one prosperity message, please. That's whatever they need to see or hear. Let's imagine. That's good. Sorry, I was just looking at these two together. They were making me feel like something could happen where there could be um, some kind of opportunity that presents itself from another loss. 
I don't know if that's an investment thing. Hmm. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. Obviously, I'm some girl who reads cards on the internet. <laughs> so, like, you know, approach with a little bit of caution, grain of salt, all that. But that's what was coming to me there. Okay, so let's read Imagine. This is number 20. I know you guys are smart enough to know that not every reading is for everybody. I just get worried that people might get nervous, you know? So let's look at your prosperity message. So we have, this is a powerful time to get clear on how you create your prosperity, what it means to you to be prosperous, and what attributes you need to develop in yourself to make things happen. Who do you need to be to live out your dreams? <laughs> Can you imagine the kind of life that you desire? Really imagine it without holding back the sheer force of your powers of creativity. Artist. <laughs> if you can envision it, you can have it. Get ready, for prosperity is waiting for you to claim it now. Act as if your dreams really will come true. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I don't know what else to add to that. I'm just going to ask these cards for, if you can spit out, please, onto the table. Any relevant timing information or any clues for the Pisces that are watching about what they might need to pay attention to, important periods of time where things might happen, that kind of thing, please. Is there any information for the Pisces that are watching? March. I'm gonna give you one more okay thank you you guys keep get is it just me or do you guys keep getting october halloween in march okay yeah you've got all this stuff in fall okay so you have september and october okay october especially has been coming up for pisces so i'm not sure what's going to happen around there but what is that the third quarter of the year Okay, we have stop waiting, right? So you have a lot of stuff in here that talks about you taking action, encouragement to take action on things, take charge of things, if that's something that you haven't done yet. Um, very much being encouraged to do it. We also have make up for lost time. We have March and St. Patrick's Day. We have take one day at a time, <laughs> rushing in and ship has sailed. Okay. I think that rushing in to me makes sense with caution, right? If there's an all or nothing attitude for someone out there, stop waiting, but it doesn't necessarily mean being foolish. Um, and that the ship has sailed maybe on, maybe on, uh, I'm just getting this thing about maybe like someone had a dream about they were gonna be in a certain place by this time. And if you find yourself beating yourself up for not reaching those goals by now, rather than putting into place stuff to like, where are you going to go now, right? <laughs> then I feel like that might be part of that being like, hey, that ship has sailed. There are no time machines. No one's going to be, you know, coming to save you. It's going to be, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to work with spirit here? Spirit wants to work with you, right? Okay, that's what I got for you this time. I hope that something in here was helpful to you, Pisces. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to. Um, don't forget to watch your other signs um, if you want to get like a full picture of the money stuff for yourself. And um, yeah, thanks so much to everybody who's sent me a super thanks or a donation through the PayPal link. I love you guys. You're the best. And I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.